all them and uh, if you have any question just raise your hand and i will give you a chance to ask the question okay so we are going to uh, start our lecture mm -hmm. yes sir so can you see my, the screen i am sharing Sean Aziz, yes, please sir. respond. It's working. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, everyone. Sir. Okay, uh, what's the GR name? Asma Taj. Asma Taj is with uh, us. No, no, sir. It's Aisha. Aisha Siddiqui. Acha, Aisha Siddiqui. She is here or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you see the screen better? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. So we are going to start our lecture. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Most Merciful and the Most Beneficent. Countless salutation on Muhammad Park Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Almighty protect us, our families, and our homeland from this pandemic of COVID-19. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, my Lord, increase my knowledge. So today we will discuss about uh, secondary structure prediction and uh, Chow Fassman algorithm. Uh, okay, first I think we should have to recall something. Uh, Sean Aziz, please unmute your mic and help me about that. We studied gene. What is gene, yes, right? Gene. Yes, sir. Okay, central dogma and codons, DNA, RNA, proteins, phenotypes, transcription, translation, gene expression, reverse transcriptase, and uh, ab initio homology modeling. Right? Am I in, in the right direction? Yes, we sir. discussed all yes, that? Sir. Yes, sir. Then we discussed yes, about we genomes. Discussed. Okay, genomes. And uh, uh, we discussed about uh, UCSF genome, right? UCSC genome browser. Yes, sir. Browser and genome browser. And we also discussed, uh, please remember me some topics that we already covered so I can know what we already have in our hand. Gene prediction in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, right? I remember that. Then we yes, also discussed ORF. We also discussed about uh, structure prediction. PTM. PTM was a great lecture, I remember. It's in detail. Post-translational modifications of proteins, acylation and uh, uh, glycosylation, right? Yes, sir. But uh, I don't remember. Myself. Okay. Uh, Aisha, Sadika, GR. Okay, that's great. That's great. We have a good hands on that. Okay, now we also discussed about hydrogen bonding, right? Special type of bonding it is and dipole dipole interaction. Hydrogen atoms covalently bonded with highly electronegative items like oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine, and then we discuss about that in detail and uh, the strengths of bonding as I remember, right? Yes, we also discussed about SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphism and uh, electrostatic attractions uh, and pair attra and electronegative attractions, intermolecular and intramolecular forces, right? We already discussed about that. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. I hope you guys will recall all the basic concepts and if you need any question, you can ask. So today our topic is uh, Chow Fassman algorithm. So first of all, we will discuss the significance of protein structures. Then we will discuss two-dimensional structure prediction. And now, then after we will move on to Chow Fassman algorithm, how it works and uh, what, how it predicts the two-dimensional structure. Nowadays, Chow Fassman is also for three-dimensional structure prediction. But in actual, it was for two-dimensional structure prediction. And Chow and Fassman was two scientists, as I remember. And please unmute your mic, everyone, please. Sorry, everyone, please mute your mics, not unmute. Everyone, please mute your mics until I ask to unmute. Please mute your mic. Everyone, please mute your mics. Okay, 
no one is allowed to unmute the mic until he or she asks to unmute. Thank you. So then we will discuss about Chow Fastman algorithm and the pre working principle of Chow Fastman algorithm. In actual, what is protein structures? Why we need protein structures? Why it is so important? These questions are the base of structural bioinformatics in actual. In structural bioinformatics, we usually predict the structures of macromolecules, DNA, proteins, and others. Can anyone please tell me who's Iram Batul and Amna Nawaz? Why, guys, you unmute your mic? Are you to मैंने आपको भी म्यूट कर दिया सबको म्यूट कर दिया है तो प्लीज अब आप इसको म्यूट अनम्यूट मत करिएगा जब तक मैं ना कहूँ माताब अली बेटा आप क्यों अनम्यूट कर रहे हो बार बार सारे लेक्चर नहीं लेते यही काम कर लेते हैं आज सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर सो फंक्शन ऑफ द प्रोटीन डिपेंड्स ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्रोटीन सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर है सिमिलर फंक्शन सो इफ देर इज एनी अल्ट्रेशन एनी चेंज एनी म्यूटेशन इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन मोस्ट प्रोबेबली the function will change so for three dimensional structure prediction usually we just move uh, we just first predict the two dimensional structure okay what is the linear structure of protein anyone wants to tell me linear structure of protein kashif slim unmute your mic kashif slim जी yes, sir. What is linear structure of protein or first one dimensional structure, primary structure? Yes, sir. Primary structure. इसमें सर simple सर वो linear ही amino acid attach होते हैं chains बनाने के लिए तो वो simple एक protein बनती है. Simple okay. simplest structure भी हम इसे कहते हैं सर. Mute your mic. Who is Lajan Jafri? Unmute your mic. Who is Lajan Jafri? Unmute your mic. I will find you, man. If you think you will not unmute your mic and I cannot find you, it will not happen. I will find you who you are. Khudabaksh, unmute your mic. Khudabaksh. Okay, first we have the linear structure of protein, and then we just consider it also as a first uh, primary structure of protein. That is the linear amino acid sequence, as Kashif told us. Kashif Slim, yes, he is a good guy. So first, the linear structure converted into or predicted the uh, secondary structure. Then we move on to tertiary structures. then we move on to quaternary structure and then quaternary structure i remember we discussed in our class all these forms of types of protein structures so after that we will move to the next slide what is chow fastman algorithm the experimental method used by biologists to determine the protein structures computational methods are developed to predict the location of secondary structure elements in proteins for creating insights into experimental results Chow Fastman algorithm is an empirical algorithm developed to predict predict the secondary structure of proteins. The secondary structure of proteins usually have alpha helices, beta sheets, loops, and turns. These four types. So uh, Chow Fastman are two scientists that uh, uh, design this algorithm. Okay, what is algorithm? First of all, series of steps. the series of steps for to perform a specific function uh, is known as algorithm and chow fastman just two scientists designed an algorithm to predict the three dimensional uh, two dimensional structure of a protein so protein structure and their importance we already discussed that algorithm and importance of advanced algorithms 
protein structures are very important for to understand the function of a protein if you want to understand the function of protein you must need a structure and for a structure you need primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure its folding and the post translational modifications and many more so after that uh, we will uh, discuss the algorithms and importance of uh, advanced advanced algorithms so nowadays people just generate so many algorithms advanced algorithms and every year there are so many new algorithms for the prediction of different queries like three dimensional structure prediction four two dimensional structure prediction and others so here we have the primary structure as a linear amino acid chain in uh, in figure number a then we have secondary structure that includes beta pleated sheets that includes uh, uh, alpha helices and other materials like turns and loops after that we have uh, alpha helices beta pleated sheets turns and loops then we have tertiary structure tertiary structure has the folding specific folding that perform specific function then we just move to quaternary structure and quaternary structure quaternary structure is missed here but i remember we already discussed in our class secondary structure the minus acid propensities is useful for secondary structure prediction chow fastman method for secondary structure prediction what is propensities i already i always told you guys to break the query then you can easily solve the query so here we have a statement the amino acid propensities is useful for secondary structure prediction if we want to predict the secondary structure we should know the propensities of amino acids so we know about secondary structure we know about amino acids we should know about propensities then we will break this query so anyone wants to tell me what is the meaning of propensities or propensity anyone from 37 mohammad kavish and mohammad kavish please unmute your mic safa mushtaq unmute your mic Shan Aziz, please unmute your mic. Padma, kya the matiya? Hello. Hello, yes sir. Mera waaz aari hai. Aapko meri waaz aari hai? Yes. Yes sir. Kya matlab? Baki baki sab ko bhi aari hai. Jaan bhi kya se kar rahe hain? Hmm. शानजीज ऐसा क्यों है सर मुझे तो आ रही है यस yes, सर तो ये जानबूझ के नहीं माइक अपने ऑन कर रहे हैं वो सर वो मुझे लगता है उन्हें करना आता नहीं वो अभी पहली क्लास है ना सर बेटा इतनी भी नहीं लूट मची हुई कि इन्हें माइक ना ऑन करना है बाय इंफॉर्मेटिक्स के ये स्टूडेंट्स हैं हैं यस बेटा ऐसे करना ऐसे तो ना शानजीज करो जी मुनीब मुनीब आईफोन सर आप खुद खुद ऑन कर दें सर उधर से प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक शान अजीज एंड महताब अली मुनीब प्लीज अनम्यूट योर माइक अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम जी बेटा व्हाट इज प्रोपेंसिटी सो मेनी क्वेश्चन करनी सर मैंने बताना था इनको करना नहीं आ रहा माइक का तो आप लोगों को बेटा पहले सीखना चाहिए था ना सारा कुछ आपको पता था आज क्लास है सर आप ये आवाज नहीं आ रही आवाज सही तो बोले देखें सर बीच में ऑन करी जा रहे हैं पता नहीं लग रहा उन्हें ओके काशिफ सलीम प्लीज अनम्यूट योर माइक यस सर जी बेटा व्हाट इज प्रोपेंसिटी सर प्रोपें प्रोपेंसिटी होती है सर स्पेसिफिक uh, जो बिहेवियर होता है किसी भी एलिमेंट का जो मतलब स्ट्रक्चर का बिहेव होता है वेरी गुड वो हमारे पास उसकी प्रोपेंसिटीज होती हैं जी स्पेसिफिक किसी भी स्ट्रक्चर का बिहेवियर या उसकी अपीयर होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी आप कह लें फंक्शन हां जी टेंडेंसी इस सब को हम प्रोपेंसिटी मिलेंगे थैंक यू सो मच यंग मैन प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक 
so the minus it propensity is is all is useful for secondary structure prediction if you want to predict the secondary structure of any protein you should know or maybe the tool perform this for you at the back end the calculate to calculate the propensities of the specific amino acids and then will tell you what will be happen here alpha helices beta pleated sheets or uh, turns or loops or anything else what what depends on the propensity of that specific amino acids i hope you will get the point after that we will move to the next one what is primary structure we already discussed that the linear amino acid sequence of protein is known as primary structure then we have uh, using rules derived from known structures predict the secondary structure having alpha helices beta sheets and loops so for the secondary structure prediction first of all we need a primary structure that is the sequence of an sequence of amino acid of a protein then we have rules that we derive from the known structures as you guys know we have a protein data bank that has so many structures of x solved solved by x ray crystallography and nmr so the structure solved by x ray crystallography and nmr has specific values and the scientists or researchers or chow fasman both the guys just derive the specific rules with the help of specific rules just derive the propensities of the amino acids and generate a library or you can say a table and now they just compare the values of uh, of predicted amino acids with the ta available table and then they just decide what will be here like alpha helices or beta sheets then we predict the three two dimensional structure secondary structure of the protein that usually have alpha helices beta sheets and loops and also turns in nowadays i hope you will get the point that how they derive the values from solved structures suppose we have a structure of protein abc in pdb and uh, they just calculate that after alanine there is a proline after proline there is a lysine then arginine then tryptophan and then there is a specific values predicted by the x ray crystallography and nmr they just dri drive that values and generate a table now when you have a receptor protein or the protein you want to predict the secondary structure you the tool or if you want to perform it theoretically or tool at the back end just perform the same if there is a alanine after proline or maybe before proline they just match the values with the available table that was generated from the values from x ray crystallographic and nmr structures and then decide it will be a alpha helix it will be a beta sheet or it will be a loop or a turn structural pro propensities due to the shape size and charge of its side chain each amino acid may fit better in one type of secondary structure than other so these prop propensities are dep depending on the size of the amino acid the shape of the amino acid and the Shan is is please unmute your mic yes sir ye who is lajan jafri sir i don't know either grab the guy you know find him sir i have seen him the first time trust in this me. class trust me trust me if you will not find him or the other guys didn't help you to find him trust me everyone will be down puri ki puri class ragdi jayegi so ab aap dekh lena puri class wale i'll try my best ha puri class wale dekh lena boys girls 57 ke 7 banda jo hai dhoond ke de do theek hai okay sir ji munib you can unmute your mic सर मैं कह रहा था कोई ऐसा सिस्टम कर लें जिस पे मतलब अपनी क्लास ही ऐड हो सके बाकी बेटा इसमें सिर्फ अपनी क्लास ऐड है और जिसने ये लिंक आगे भेजा है पकड़ा तो वो भी जाएगा कि नहीं पकड़ा जाएगा ये कोई अच्छी बात नहीं है अगर आप लोग यही सीख रहे हो आपकी एम एस है ये छठा सेमेस्टर है एम एस है अगर आप लोग यही सीख रहे हो तो क्या फायदा है गवर्नमेंट और इतनी मेहनत करी कि आप लोग पढ़ जाए फायदा तो बताए सर वो है तो बीच में शर्म की तरफ या खाजे की जो भी है 
अगर तो बेहतरी की तरफ आप लोगों ने बेटा जाना ही नहीं है तो फिर क्या फायदा है ना इतनी स्ट्रगल का अगर आप ये समझते yes, हैं कि ये एक जोक है या हम बड़ा को कारनामा कर रहे हैं मास्टर को पता नहीं चल रहा और मैं बिलो द लाइन जाकर गुफ्तु और हरकतें कर रहा हूँ तो ये को बहुत कोई बड़ा तातीर तो नहीं मारा जा रहा और ये बहुत बड़ी गलत फहमी होती है कि मैं पकड़ा नहीं जाता बिग इन साइज some some amino acids are small in size some amino acids that only have one one or two hydrogen items so there are so many variations in the amino acids so that occurrence of amino acids at a specific position in alpha helices or beta sheets depends on its shape size and charge and the values depends on the derived from the exergic crystallographic and nmr structures and here is we here we have a classic example the rigidity and side chain angle of proline cannot be accommodated in an alpha helical structure i hope you guys will get it i am trying to explain it for you again the rigidity and side chain angle of proline who remember the structure of proline everyone will see the structure of proline how it looks like then you will get the result of this statement that proline cannot be accommodate in alpha helical structure because its side chain is so rigid that cannot be present in any alpha helical shape so usually prolines are in loops turns or beta sheets after that we also have two other ways two ways to analyze the view of view the significance of propensity two ways to analyze the view of the significance of propensity so it may control or affect the folding of the protein in its immediate vicinity amino acids determine structures you guys know it very well it may constitute selective pressure to use particular amino acids in regions that must have a particular structure structure determines amino acids we is discuss earlier few minutes back in the start of our lecture that all the functions of the protein depends on the structure and the structure depends on the amino acids amino acid determines the shape of the structure if you change one amino acid from a protein like we discuss about as i remember mutational studies about proteins like if there is one mutation of amino acid like in the in the place of alanine we have a proline the whole there is a change in the structure and the maybe the whole function of the protein sometimes change or disturbs there are different types of mutations if you guys remember sense mutation non sense mutations point mutation frame shift mutation so all these are because of the change in structure so the folding of the protein depends on the amino acid and the vicinity of the amino acid and the selective pressure of specific amino acid in that region because they have side chain they have different angles they have different charges so now we jump on chow fastman method chow fastman method usually uses table of conformational parameters propensity is determined primarily from measurements of secondary structure table consists of one likelihood for each structure for each amino acid as we discussed before that the table was generated from the values derived from solved x-ray crystallographic structure and nmr structures the specific values we derived it and generated a table now we use this table to predict the secondary structure and the table consists of one likelihood for each structure for each amino acid every structure has amino acids and these amino acids have specific likelihood with the predicted solved structure of exergic crystallography and nmr sir agar internet ka masla ho to ek bachche ka hota hai do bachche ka hota hai ya teen bachcho ka zyada chow fastman algorithm conformational parameters so for every amino acid like here we mentioned if you guys can see the cursor here probability of or propensity of alpha helix then prob uh, manib manib please unmute your mic 
sir you can see the cursor on the screen while i am moving down at the propensity of beta sheets right ji sir okay thank you so everyone be please be focused so here we have the propensity of alpha helix that how many chances that there will be alpha helical structure or how uh, and how many chances that which amino acid will become a beta sheet or which amino acid will be in turn pro propensity in a turn so here we discuss three in actual we also have the loops based on observed propensities in proteins of non structure this statement we just explored it in detail that from where we get we got the values and how we derive the values in the table so these pa pb and p turn denotes the okay we are running off time now i am going to summarize this one and then we will join the class after 5 minutes everyone so i am going to summarize this slides propensity of alpha helix propensity of beta sheets and turn so these are the values we will calculate in our next slide and in our next lectures and these pa pb and p turn will denote or will explain in the formula that what it is so you should keep this in your mind that where it is pa it mean pro propensity in a alpha helix pb propensity in a beta sheet and p turn is propensity in a turn so we will join the lecture after 5 minutes thank you